Hi again, back for another exciting video. Um, this video we're going to make a blob plot with BB tools. Um, this is does take a few steps and um, some of these steps take quite a while so I'm not actually going to run them, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, so the first step we'll do is we're going to run our uh, assembly file through the blast. We want to do a nucleotide blast. Um, and if you want to do blast-h in the command line, it'll give you um, more information on what each one of these steps does. Um, but basically, from our lab GitHub, we would just paste that and then run that line there, and it would do a blast search. Um, we're not going to do it because it would take a while. So, um, yeah. So that would be the first step. Then the second step here is um, we're going to index our assembly file with the bwa index.scaffolds. That step doesn't take too long, so we'll run that. And then um, once that's been indexed, then the next thing we're going to do as part of the mapping is we're going to create a .sam file. And that's done with the BWA, um, that's another program, uh, Burroughs Wheeler Aligner. Uh, we're using that program to create the, to use now the BWA algorithm, which is this command here, and it's going to create a .sam file. So we would normally um, copy all that, change our file accordingly. It's our two reads file and our assembly file. That step does take a while, so I'm not going to run that one either. So then after we have a .sam file created, then we use bbtools, blob tools, to create a .json file. And that's what um, this command here would do. It also takes a while to run, maybe a minute or two. I just don't want to... Uh, put it in this video because it'll take too long, but we take our assembly file and this is the name of the .sam file we want and this is our blast file and this will be our plot file. Um, so we do that and then our final step here is to use the JSON file and create the our final blob plot file, which those should be, that should create two .png files, and we'll run that one here. Um, yeah. It takes maybe, um, I don't know, 20 seconds or so to do this one, but after that we should have um, a .png file. We'll see here. Okay, so yeah, here's our two .png files that we created. And then if we um, use FileZilla, we can upload them to our computer. And they should look something like this. It creates a, a blob plot showing us... Um, we did this actually for the MN14 isolate because it, it, it appeared to have some contaminations in it. And um, our blob plot shows us what those contaminants are. And so then we can take the ne next step into um, cleaning it up. But yeah, that's a quick rundown of how to make a blob plot. Um, so yeah, if you ever need to use that. Alright, thank you.